Something people often confuse is the difference between the words manga and anime. And I don't blame you if you do, because in Japan, manga can refer to both animation and comics. However, outside of Japan, manga strictly means Japanese comics. Anime, on the other hand, is simply the Japanese word for animation. And before the word anime came about around the 1980s, people used the word Japanimation to specifically describe Japanese animation. But to make it simple, anime means animation and manga means comics. One thing that makes manga and anime so iconic and recognizable is often the large and exaggerated eyes. You thought I would say boobs, didn't you? Well, we'll get to that in a moment. But the large eyes of many manga and anime characters can actually be credited to one man. His name is Usamu Tezuka and is often considered the godfather of anime as he was basically the Japanese version of Walt Disney. And that is actually what inspired Tezuka. He was inspired by Disney cartoons where many of the characters such as Mickey Mouse and Bambi featured large eyes. Another iconic design for manga and anime characters is the hair and usually extreme hair colors. However, the colors aren't just selected randomly. In many cases they express significant elements of that character's personality. This is based on the color symbolism in Japan. For example, black can mean mystery or evil, red means joy, love or aggression, gray can mean intelligence or boredom. Every color has its own set of meanings, however, not every anime and manga use it. In Japan, around 200 new anime appears on television every year, and more paper is used for printing manga than for making toilet paper. Anime is such a huge phenomenon in Japan that Japanese animation accounts for over 60% of the whole world's animation-based entertainment. The highest grossing anime film of all time is Spirited Away by Studio Ghibli, which has grossed over 270 million dollars. At second place comes another Studio Ghibli film, Howl's Moving Castle, at over 230 million dollars. The longest running anime series as well as the longest running animated series worldwide is a show called Sasei-san. It began airing in Japan in 1969 and currently has over 2,255 individual episodes. It could also be said to have over 6,000 episodes depending on what counting system you use. The most amazing thing about this series though is that it's still in production after all these years. Compared to the western world where animation and comics are mostly seen as something only enjoyed by and targeted towards children, anime is quite the opposite. Even though there are a lot of stuff targeted just for children, there's just as much anime and manga targeted towards teens and adults, which is not afraid of showing death, gore, sex and other controversial themes that's usually otherwise only seen in live action movies and series. Anime and manga even have specific categories to specify who the target audience is. Anime is a Japanese word and since they don't use plurals in Japan, the plural of anime is anime and not animes. Because anime and manga originates from Japan, it has a lot of genres, definitions and words not often used elsewhere. Here are some examples. Moe. While it does not have a concrete definition, generally it's used to describe that a female character or even a whole show or comic is striving to be very cute to invoke a feeling of sympathy and endearment within the viewer. Fan service. Sexual elements specifically included to please the audience that are usually unnecessary to plot development. ONA. Anime intended to be distributed via the internet through streaming or download. OVA. Anime intended to be distributed on VHS tapes or DVDs and not to be shown in cinema or on TV. Mecha. Uh, giant fucking robots. 
it can be very hard to describe what an anime is, because technically, anime is just a simple abbreviation of the word animation. There are no predefined rules of what an anime should or should not include, yet most of us would identify this as an anime, while this would be a cartoon. However, the latter is the oldest preserved anime in existence, created around 1907 by an unknown animator. But even though the word anime quite literally covers all of animation, the modern usage of the word usually describes one of two things. The first is that anime is defined by the character's unique features such as the pointy chin, large eyes, spiky hair, elongated thin bodies and limbs, and of course the obligatory huge breast syndrome. The second popular definition is that anime is only animation created by Japanese and or was created in Japan. It's okay if you don't wanna sing along But if you do, I promise you, you will feel like you belong Don't get me wrong